So task two involves using some qualifiers with the subquery, and the qualifiers are all, any, and some. When you use those qualifiers, you really can't run the subquery by itself because it won't work. Uh, so you just kind of have to key in the whole thing and run it together. So I'm going to go ahead and key in task number two. And our scenario here is our boss would like us to find all product IDs that have a quantity of zero in the orders detail table. So we are using the Northwood database or Northwind, excuse me, Northwind database. And we're going to select product name. From products. Where the product ID. Equals all. Okay, so that's our qualifier. And what we want it to do is look at the product ID in the order detail table and display rows that have a quantity of zero. Okay, so the select is going to be select product ID from, now order details has a space in it, so I'm going to put it in brackets. So we want the product ID from order details where they have a quantity equal to zero. So that is my subquery. And you can code it like this all the way across or you press enter then typically what it's the way that they do the subqueries is kind of like this. So all is the beginning of the subquery and they kind of keep it in the same area. And that just makes it easier to read and see. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. So what we are looking at are the product names that have a quantity of zero in the order details. Okay, so basically these are products that aren't selling. <laughs> so might want to put them on clearance or something. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move our closing comment down. So that was the all qualifier. And what we're going to be looking at next is the any qualifier. So the our scenario on the next one is our boss would like us to find products that have order quantities greater than 100. So we are going to be using Northwind and we're gonna select product name and ID. And we're gonna be, again, looking at order details and we're going to be seeing which ones have a quantity greater than 100 because that actually is a pretty good seller. So if you don't really like to type, you probably can copy the previous one and make a couple little adjustments. So Northwind is correct. Uh, we're going to select two columns on this, product name and product ID. From products is right, where the product ID equals. Now we want to say any. And select product ID from order details is correct. Uh, this time we're looking for a quantity greater than 100. Because basically those are good sellers. Now the any qualifier is pretty much the same as some. Okay, so we'll run it first with any. Okay, and you can kind of glance at the results, and then change it to sum, and you should see the same results. The exact same results as any. 
And we'll pull this down. And at this point, we are done with task two.